What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we're going to be doing our next stage on build this plus trap. So as you can see we're doing the plus trap nightlight. This is the stage that we're at at the moment. We are almost finished. So I just want to give you guys an understanding on see show you the sheer size of this model and how big it is. And it was all printed on this Voxilab. So this is the Voxilab 3D printer. This is the plastic PLA one uh, where it prints out in plastic pieces. Uh, I'm gonna just sort of just give you an indication. We've done previous videos, which you can go check out, which I'll have uh, on the channel, which will be under the playlist, um, Five Nights at Freddy's. So if you wanna go and check that out, please go down there and have a look. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment uh, on what you think of our Plus Trap Night like so far. So yeah, this is this is basically it. So um, as I said, this little chair we managed to pick up. We got this uh, for five pounds we saw. It was on like Facebook things for sale. And I was like, you know what, that's perfect. It's a little tiny kid's chair and in, the video game he is sitting in a chair in the middle of like a corridor and he looks really really creepy and I said to Jake what about if we got that and it's just somewhere we could hide the electrics underneath uh, and it'll be a great way for him to sit there uh, and look creepy in the corner uh, and as you know he is a nightlight at the moment we have it so that his eyes light up I don't know if we can show you that or whether you see that very well what I do is I quickly switch a couple of lights off so you can see and don't can't make it proper dark in here only because it isn't that dark outside so we'll make it as dark as we can and maybe we'll switch the light off on the inside and then we can kind of give you an indication on his eyes lighting up so there you go so at the moment we've got it so that his eyes light up like that so you can turn them off and on when he wants them on. Uh, we're not too sure whether we should do something to make it more of a night light so that it lights up really well. We'll just quickly whack the lights back on again real quick. But as I said, I'm not too sure whether we should do something so that maybe there's a light shining up or whether we should put a light inside him so that the endoskeleton of him lights up as well, like hide him within. What do you guys think? What would you honestly do if you was making a scary night light? Uh, would you have it so that maybe there was a light underneath or where there's light shining up at him? You know, like when you put the torch under your face and you have it so the light comes up. We could have a light under here that shines up under his face. Just anything like that. So your guys' opinions uh, matter to us a lot. So if you could have some input on it, that would be great. As we're so close to the final stages, uh, the legs and stuff are only just held in. But I'll come around there and just show you guys what it looks like and then what stages it comes up to and what we've added to make it even scarier. And at the end, I'll bring you over and give you a nice detailed look at how this is getting on. So let's have a look here. So the legs are not attached, but what I want to do is show you how they come out. So when we 3D print them, they come out like this and they are in little sections like that. So what we tend to do is we just drill out this section and pop a little screw or, or a little bolt inside there and then we have some thread so that we can connect them. You don't have to do that. This is just not necessary. You can just glue them all together and glue the joints on. We're just doing that because it's just gonna be a lot easier and it looks more authentic when you're screwing them in, if you know what I mean. So as you can see here, if I unscrew this, then you know I can add the sections and tighten them up and have them as loose as I want and move them around where I want them when I'm positioning them in. in. So, uh, but there you go. So that is what we've been doing. So I'm just going to pop his leg back in there. Uh, the color wise, we've we've been over what colors we've used to paint him and stuff like that. His hands are here, and as you can see, these ones are not finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to channel out these black lines and then we're going to make little drill holes and then we're going to thread it with the thread so he looks stitched all the way around so we still have that yet to do so we'll do that in the next video so you guys can see uh, that nice and close up but this is just one of his hands and as you can see a little bit of the endo would be in there so we're going to silver that up and black and silver just to make it nice and good so what we tend to do is when we're doing the um, the main endoskeleton part of it, 
we will just spray over it with some black spray and then go over it with some silver spray so we'll just get like a dark silver and then if you want to what you can do is just get a bit of sandpaper as it's drying and just scrape that off just so that the endoskeleton looks really worn and that is how we got that effect as you can see here we still have to channel out these pieces and we still need to cut around here drill the holes like we showed in the previous videos and do the stitching just to finish it off there but yeah we grabbed that chair uh for five pounds which is really good and it's a perfect size for him i think uh, and then we kind of put the cable in through from his eyes uh, we finished, we connected the head. We have actually screwed the head in from the back so he doesn't move off of the chair. I don't want to. As you can see here, there is a screw that goes through the back of the chair into his head just to keep his head at that angle because that's the angle that he will be. Just bring it back around again. And then what we did here is we pieced him all together as much as we could. At the bottom here, he's got a bolt that goes through the bottom of his main endoskeleton underneath. And then under there, if I just take off his leg and his foot and then bring him up, you'll be able to see underneath that we bolted him in from underneath there. And that's where the cabling comes through. But because there's such a big box section under there, we're about to use that to hide all of these switches under there out the way. So this is where it turns on here and turns off. But that's where we're gonna hide all that out the way there. So we'll just put these feet back. So we will need to attach those in. So we'll figure out a way of attaching those in there. And then we've got to attach that one in here. And then once we're finished, we basically, we drill a hole into the top of here and we put some thread through. So you don't have to buy a length of thread. You can actually just get the bolts, cut the top of the bolts off and then just glue them in. That's just used with resin glue or any really strong glue that's in there. But what we'll do is we'll paint all this up black, do the silver, wipe it off, do the same. We'll paint inside here with the black and the silver. And then we'll pop that in place when that's ready to go. And then we'll put in the support and resistor here to hold that in place there and then we'll fill over that bit to get rid of all of the um, imperfections so you can't see it and then we'll go with the color and then that piece will be the top of his arm so that will be the bit that fits on here so his arm will go on there and then the last bit will be his hand so then his hand would be as you can imagine sitting there like that so we've got both of the hands pretty much ready to go and they'll just be sitting on here too. So I can't wait to get all that put together. But like I said, we just want to figure out a way of making him more lit up. As we talked in a previous video about the ears, the ears are all magnetized. So if I pulled this bit off here, you'll be able to see that the ears, all the sections of the ears are magnetized on the endoskeleton. So there's just a little metal rod in here and then either side, we glued in magnets on both sides of those to keep them in place. So now we can take off all of the sections and they are now just held on with magnets each side. So you can take that top section off there. You can even take the second section off. All the sections will come off because they are only magnetized. Uh, but then when you put them back on, all you have to do is put it back on and then the magnets will just hold it in place. Just like that. So all three sections of that on each one of the ears is magnetized so that we can do maintenance. We'll probably be go over all of this uh, endoskeleton on the inside with resin just to support it. Because if someone walked past and knocked that, it could possibly break the ear off because it's only plastic. But if I go over it with resin, it will definitely strengthen the ear up enough um, for it to not break or be really bad. As I said, once we'd finished doing all of this, what I did with the blood on the mouth, which you're about to see a little bit better later on, is I mixed up some really sort of vibrant red nail varnish. And with the nail varnish, we mixed it in with a little bit of resin. And then we just dripped them all around just to make it look like he's been, in, you know, murdered someone or, you know, bitten somebody or something like that. So that is kind of the effect we were going for. We probably will add a little bit more blood down here once the hands and bits are on but for now obviously we still have a few more bits to finish off but not far off finishing the complete model uh so we're we're done really pretty much on apart from the top part of the arms and stuff like that so it's going really well 
with the handprints, the bloody handprints here, what we did on that is we just got, um, we got my daughter to um, mix up some red paint and she put her hand in and then we just sort of said, could you grab here and here? So it just looks like somebody um, was like trying to pull the chair away or trying to get away and they are the bits. These are not in the video game, they're just bits we added but we just thought um, they would definitely be uh, a nice uh, addition to making um, this plus trap. So yeah, there you go. So I'm just gonna quickly come around here just to finish the video off. Guys, we are so close to finishing off this project and it is so good um, and it came out so much better than we thought it would and you know this 3D printer has done itself justice we've got so many big 3D projects coming um, other than the uh, scary nightlight uh, that we have started so we will be finishing this one off real soon so make sure you are staying tuned subscribe to the channel and please comment if you like this or whether you have any opinions what we could do maybe we could add sounds to it with a little sensor if you walk past it says something uh, I'm not too sure uh, but we are getting there and Jake absolutely loves it he, he's just like come on dad when are you gonna finish it so this is what we're gonna be doing this year we're gonna be getting this finished off in January so make sure you stay tuned to the channel so that you can keep an eye on how we're getting on with this and uh, we'll have more 3d projects and we'll have the last edition video to making this nightlight real soon so make sure you um you know you don't go anywhere right so see you guys on the next one take care now bye bye